Hi, Al here with a quick overview of the new attendance summarization features that have been added into the latest release of my Google Meet attendance extension, version 0.7.10. Quick reminder, uh, my extension is the one that has the green check mark as its icon. So I'm looking now at a report that is generated by, uh, by the extension uh, for a, a particular class on a, on a given day with the student names listed down the left-hand column. Now, I've hidden the, the names in this particular file to uh, protect the privacy of my students, but it is basically a, a file generated as you normally would with the, uh, with the extension. A couple changes in it. Uh, rather than having the questions and feedback text, I've replaced that with an icon, but click on this uh, little button over here to generate an email to if you have any questions. There's also the show attendance summary button in the middle of the screen, hopefully obvious. And when I click on that, it will open up a file dialog, file open dialog. And with that, I can select all of the classes for or all of the lessons for one of my class. And that's really quite honestly what I expected most teachers would do. But um, I got a, a compelling argument for a, a use case where you might want to blend a number of classes into the report. And so that capability exists as well. So I've selected the classes that I've want, I want in my report. I see that here, this one has a, uh, a one appended to it. It's a duplicate file. So I'm gonna hold down the control key and remove it. So using the shift and the control keys, you can select the files that you want to include in the summary. Once you've got them selected, you click the open button and all of the columns are added for all of the lessons. Lessons are sorted uh, by uh, increasing uh, chronological date as we move from, uh, from left to right. And all of the names for the classes are down in the left-hand column. Now, things are pretty busy in this particular report because I've got a, a mishmash of grade nine and 10 students here. I can get rid of the grade nines. Notice that the columns quickly updated there. And also, there are fewer names in the column on the, uh, on the left. I can do the same thing. I can get rid of my grade 10 math class and see just the, the results for my uh, computer studies class. Click again to put them back in. So with these check boxes, you can show and hide the columns that you want. There's this button here now that will allow me to download this current summary to a static HTML file. And that's all well and good. You click on the button and it will save it to your uh, download directory. Uh, but I'll show you that in a moment. In addition to being able to see a summary for the entire class, I can look at the results for a particular student as well. So I'm going to click on this student name here. And it's going to open up a report for me. You can see the classes that I attended. I don't know why I marked as absent for that particular class, but that's, that's a little odd. And so we have this, this report. Once again, I can remove the classes that I don't want to see, put them back in, um, just by clicking and selecting and deselecting the, uh, uh, the checkbox. I can click on the, the name again to show all of the students again, or I can also click on this X to get out of the, uh, out of the report for just me. But before I do that, I'm going to download the current summary and it saves a file to my download directory. There it is right there. I click on that file and you see that we're getting the, the same report again. But as I said, a static file, it has just my information in it, just the information for the selected student. So this is something that you can perhaps share with parents or administration if you want to have just that one, a conversation about just that one particular student. And again, you can hide the columns as, as appropriate. And there we have it. And just quickly showing back here, if I click on the name, all of the names appear. Uh, look forward to your feedback. Um, hope you're uh, safe and well. And uh, until next time, we'll, uh, we'll see you again. Thanks. Bye.